Where are you going? Oh, that's a nice trout. It is a nice trout. Oh, get my net, get my net. <clears throat> we just got rained out and it's raining again. I was watching and watching the weather. It's not like thunderstorms, but it's a little light rain. So I'm gonna go give it a chance. We're gonna make a run. We're gonna see what happens. So we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna try to throw some speckled trout into the mix. So hopefully we'll see y'all out there when we're catching some fish. Hey guys, what's up? Dwayne Lulu here with Spots and Dots. Again, let me just say thank y'all for watching. And I forgot to mention, don't forget to subscribe and hit them thumbs up, guys. Give me some likes. So today's trip, throw y'all some fish up here, let y'all see what we did. We did pretty well with the speckled trout. I actually caught one that was the biggest at 20 inches, 20 and a quarter inches, and somehow or another, it didn't make it on the video. I don't know if my camera's quit recording or if I accidentally deleted it anyways. So I had three 20 inch fish, got two on video, a uh, plethora of lures today. I started off with the uh, H2O Express Mojo Mullet, segmented body fish, really good bait. From there, I went to a Matrix Shad uh, Green Hornet, and then I went to a Drake Bait Violator, and I used a Voodoo, I don't know what it exactly is called, but I know it's a Voodoo Bait, it's another segmented bait, it's got treble hooks on the bottom, uh, different rod and reel combos. So throughout the video, I actually tell you everything that I'm using and so I'm not going to explain it here. Just if you want to, if you want to know, give a video a watch. But uh, yeah, pretty good bit of trout. A lot of small trout, but some nice trout also. Fishing the grass beds. The grass beds are starting to uh, fire off, and uh, it's it's not that deep of water. So uh, grass beds, islands, straight retrieve. One eighth ounce jig heads when I wasn't using a segmented body lure, which I don't know what the weight on those were, but I was, I was when I did use soft plastics, I was using a uh, one eighth ounce. So uh, yeah, y'all give it a watch and let me know what y'all think in them comments. There he is. There he is. Nice one too. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, that's a nice trout. Nice trout. Uh, 18 and a half. So let's let her go. Good deal. Good deal. Smaller. It's a trout. This rod and reel. Is the rod and reel I bought in Florida. It is a lose. I don't even know what it's called. Tournament Pro TPHLR. Um, and the rod is a lose Kevin Van Dam GC3 medium fast action. Look 
a good one. It's a keeper. Solid keeper. Seventeen inches. Here we go. One eighth ounce jig head, straight retrieve, matrix, green hornet, matrix shad green hornet. This is the Shimano Corrado DC 151 SLX with the Shimano GLF medium fast action rod. That's a better one. That's definitely a better one. Come here. Barely hook. Barely hook. Oh boy. Ooh. Barely hooked. Sixteen and a half. Nice trout. There we go. Nice trout, nice trout. 
15 inches. Right at 18. Ooh, there's something big right there. See its push. Hey, yep, I knew it. <laughs> Porpoise or dolphin, rather. I'm, I will never get that out of my head. I grew up, people telling me porpoises out here all my life, but it's been dolphins. bait violator after I lost my line to a toothy critter a second ago Ladyfish, probably. Not nah, a really nice trout. It's the kind of trout I want. Where are you going? Oh, that's a nice trout. It is a nice trout. Oh, get my net. Get my net. Oh, that's a nice trout. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, what am I pulling? Got stuck. Oh, come here. In the meantime, I'm drifting right over where the fish came from. Whoo, that's a steadily stud. Mm -hmm. Twenty inches, yes, sir. Twenty inches. You.
but I have some videos in the past when I first got this newer. I wanted to use it, and it's and that's why right there. That was a freaking stud. Oh, that was a stud. Y'all seen him for a second, but yeah. So that's just an awesome bait. Uh, the other bait has the hook coming out the top, single hook. That's a mullet looking. This one is kind of mullet looking, but it's got the treble hook on the bottom. And it's made by Voodoo. But God, that was a studly trout right there. But you can see how fast I'm working it, guys. You have to. And that fish came up and smacked it just a second ago. I gotta tell you, it's cloudy. And it's hard to see these grass beds and you definitely wanna cast into the grass beds. So it's it's been tough. I've just been purely blind casting this whole time. And when I mean blind casting, I don't mean like sight fishing and you see a fish. I mean, like for this kind of fishing, you definitely wanna cast into the grass beds. Because that's where the fish are. So I'm unable to see them unless the sun peeks out for a second.
Run right into the trolling motor. Oh yeah. Nice speckled trout. I thought it was a redfish. Oh. Look at this dude, he's all tore up. I don't know what happened to him. That might have been where he just hit my trolling motor right there. Nice trout. Twenty inches. Another twenty inch trout. Let him go. over the net. Oh, there we go. Good trout. Right. Oh. Noisy noise. 17 inches. Alrighty guys, that is a day of fishing. That was a lot of fishing, a lot of fishing. Caught some nice trout though, so I'm happy. And thank goodness, you know, we caught some fish out here today. So yeah, I appreciate y'all joining me today, guys. This is Dwayne Lulu with Spots and Dots. Till next time, we out.